Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing a very interesting and important topic that many men may not be aware of. We will be talking about seed retention and how women can easily sense this with men. This topic has always been shrouded in mystery and controversy, and we're here to uncover the truth behind it. We believe that this video will be a valuable resource for men who want to improve their relationships with women and better understand themselves. So buckle up and get ready as we dive deep into this fascinating subject. The concept of masculinity is quickly becoming obsolete in modern culture. The only way to find a man who isn't dead within is to find a four-leaf clover because today's guys are all fatigued and depressed. I have no idea what's causing this epidemic of male frailty, but it might be related to how easy it is to get visual stimuli online. One way that masculinity is denigrated in today's culture is through the assumption that it is harmful to men. There is no plausible explanation for this, but one thing is certain. Society is full of dominating women. The traditional masculine-feminine balance in societal structure has been severely thrown off, in part because of the shortage of strong, desirable males as was described before. The fast and easy availability of stimuli is to blame for the widespread submission of men to their libido impulses. But that's not the point here. So let's get back on track. Many men would fall in love the moment a lady asked them to. And they are the kind of people who are willing to sell their hearts for the chance to get what they really want. While some ladies like it when their male companions attend to their every whim, there are plenty of admirable ladies who would rather be pursued by a man who is confident in his masculinity and the manliness he brings to the table. Someone who is not ruled by his baser nature and may exercise choice. If you can put yourself in the shoes of a beautiful and intelligent woman looking for a man who can keep up with her, if not surpass her, then consider the situation from her point of view. She begins searching for a man who matches the bill, but all she ever seems to meet are men who are so worn out by life that dating and committed partnerships annoy them. She can't help but notice how many males in the world are completely ruled by their baser instincts. Because she fails to highlight the competition she'll face from other women who have their eyes set on the same guy, even if she does locate a man who matches all her requirements, she will still have to work for him because he might not share her view of him. As a result of these issues, most women have little choice but to shut down emotionally and put up walls. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm not advocating that you become a monk and try to completely eliminate all of your sexual desires. Absolutely not. That's not what I mean at all. My recommendation and the subject of this film Seed retention is something that most women find equally unpleasant. An excess of energy, which had been discharged aimlessly up until now, will begin to flow freely through your body. If you start saving seeds, your levels of testosterone, the male hormone, will increase, and so will your sense of masculinity. A feeling of growing confidence will take hold of you. When this drive develops in you, you'll be better able to zero in on your hopes and dreams. Seed retention can help you become more self-disciplined and in charge of your feelings. All other feelings such as wrath, resentment, etc. will be much easier to manage. If you can master your most basic urges and desires, you'll find it much easier to cope with all of these negative emotions. On top of that, Keeping your seeds will provide you with an attractive magnetic vibe that women find irresistible. All the women around you will be able to tell that you're not like the other guys who just try to follow the crowd. She will begin to circle you instead of the other way around because of the aura you'll begin to exude. Doesn't the entire cosmos operate according to that principle? The more powerful pole pulls the less powerful one into a circular orbit around itself. Since you are not a mindless slave cooped up inside, but rather actively pursuing your ambitions and dreams, she will be attracted to you all the more for it. Why? It has always been that way because women are more likely to be attracted to men who have a sense of direction and ambition. Even in the Stone Age, when people still lived in small bands and hunted with spears, the most desirable men were those who could contribute to their society. It's the same around these parts. She will be attracted to you without you even having to utter a word if she sees that you are determined to achieve your goals. Seed retention will help you in many areas of your life. One of the most powerful attributes in a guy is discipline, and this will help you cultivate more of it. 
Furthermore, women not only like taller males, but also those with other traits associated with male authority, such as strength and tough appearance. During the course of our evolutionary past, larger, more powerful males have likely been the best suppliers of food and other resources. And they have also been better able to protect their female partners and their young from other males. In evolutionary terms, this supports the idea that women should be attracted to and choose to mate with guys like him. To put it another way, you'll have a more rational way of thinking about and analyzing the world around you. Your resilience to emotional outbursts that might disrupt some facet of your life will rise when you learn to better manage your feelings and impulses. Any unused potential in your seats may be channeled into the pursuit of your heart's goal, whether that be a success in business, affluence, or more attractive female companionship. If you manage to hold on to your place, you will be in a better position than the others. A simple idea of supply and demand. The rarer something is, the higher its value. The ability to captivate an audience and win over its members is a hallmark of charisma. Charismatic people stand out from the crowd in obvious ways. In contrast, charismatic individuals seem to be vanishing from modern society. The primary reason is that young people nowadays are more preoccupied than ever with things like video games, porn, and of course, masturbation. The prevalence of weak men in today's culture make those who stand out as strong male role models. For this reason, self-improvement follows closely on the heels of self-development. It's a journey back to the person you were before you decided to better yourself. A simple definition of personal development would be any sustained effort to enhance one's mental, emotional, social, spiritual, occupational, and financial well-being. Ability and expertise are of little use at times. It all depends on how you feel about challenging yourself and expanding your boundaries. Some questions to ponder before committing time and energy to better oneself are as follows. We've covered the benefits of seed retention, so it's only fair that we talk about the negatives now. The widespread misconception that not actively channeling your seed energy might have disastrous consequences is a major source of stress for many people. One possible side effect is increased aggression and irritability. If you indulge in pornographic content often, you may find it harder and harder to connect with the real world. To avoid this though, just shift your attention in another way, say by working out more or placing more stock in your skills or some other method. If you want to be more appealing as a person, it's vital that you get out and see the world. The other problem is that you must recognize that retaining seeds is not the panacea that will instantly resolve all of your difficulties. You need the right mindset to be able to channel this energy. Therefore, practice mental gymnastics like meditation and deep breathing to cultivate that mindset. Nothing is possible if you don't have the drive to do it. Learning how to motivate yourself is a valuable ability. It's vital because each individual serves a certain function in the grand scheme of things. You need the drive to pursue your aspirations and make them a reality as a good custodian of your mission. PMO junkies, on the other hand, sometimes find it difficult to muster the enthusiasm necessary to tackle challenging tasks. Since starting seed retention, I've noticed an increase in my drive to succeed. As a result, I am high and put in the effort necessary to achieve my goals. Mental conditioning is the practice of developing and refining one's cognitive abilities. By imagining the end result in our minds, we are better able to concentrate on the tasks at hand. This aids in keeping a positive outlook and bolsters one's sense of self-worth. Meditation, deep breathing exercises, and other relaxation activities are just a few of the mental conditioning approaches that have been shown to increase focus and productivity. So, it's better for you to stop enjoying the gratification of pounding flesh for pleasure, and you'll find a surge of spiritual vitality. Such sorts of videos have a negative effect on your brain and lower your dopamine level, so you will stop objectifying women and start respecting them. Furthermore, it aids in maintaining composure under pressure. Now that the video is over, what do you guys think? Will you start your journey today? Comment down your answers below. Don't forget to like this video, and since you're already here, you might as well subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on great new videos. Thank you for watching, and we will see you 
in the following video.